Hey guys, I'm Lucky back here up in the video. Guys, today we have another market research series. So we started this, I think about two weeks ago. I missed last Wednesday. It was very busy, so I did miss one of the episodes. But we are going to continue this market research series. We did this all last year, and we're doing this all this year. Starting every single Wednesday, we will have a market research series. Again, I believe I saw this back in... Oh, no, it, was, it had to been my 18. I was thinking about month 17, but I was like... Was it month 17? No, I think it was my 18. But let's go ahead and get this started right away. So starting off right away, we have the Xbox, uh, you know, people. And you can see right here, every single time I look at this, I feel like the everything changes, right? Cheapest training always changes. Always it goes a little bit farther up. You have to spend more coins per training point. Right now it is 73 coins per training point. That's what this uh, shows exactly. 77 uh, points or 770 coins versus uh, for one training point. Keep this in mind because a lot of people get confused by this is that these are the prices of what you want to buy it at. So for example, if you go to Alex Lewis, right, and you see him up for 3,300 coins, that's not what you want to pay for that card. If you pay for that that much for that card, you are not getting your you know correct value for your amount of coins. And that's what a lot of people I see messing up with this whole entire list. They look at this and go, oh, Ted Hendricks is the best value. Let me go buy Ted Hendricks. No, if you can get Ted Hendricks at 760,000 coins, he is the best value. Keep that in mind. So over this last couple of weeks, or last week, uh, or last two weeks when I missed, we had um, power-ups go a little bit more up in value. We had the gauntlet release. What did the gauntlet do to the game? Well, pretty much it did go ahead and increase a value of one player. Because only one player got a gauntlet player out of it. And that was going to go ahead and be Kelsey. Jason Kelsey, I believe his name is. And let's go ahead and take a look at him. As you can see right here, his power-up did go up to 40,000 coins. And of course, that is because he got a new gauntlet player. And of course, that went ahead and skyrocketed his card up to around 55, now down to 40. And you can see right here, I've always said this many, many times, if you ever think about upgrading a player and their card just skyrocketed up in price for whatever reason, always wait. You can see right here, if someone would have powered him up at, you know, September 22nd, he would have been 55,000 coins. You could have saved 15,000 and hill price would even go farther and farther and farther down as a new card comes out. So never power up a card. If they skyrocket, don't do it that same day. Do it later on. I made that mistake with um, Mr. Uh, Tyree Kill. So always make sure you do that. Nonetheless, though, other than that, though, we had um, the gauntlet release. We had new power-ups, which kind of interesting. I know you guys, um, I know you guys already know about this, so I'm just gonna make this uh, brief. But we do have a new Patrick Mahomes, and you can see right here he does have a new power-up card. Now we've talked many, many times about this that maybe Patrick Mahomes and other cards will get new power-ups in the future. Uh, what we can take away from this was whenever. When he did get a brand new card, this Patrick Mahomes is going for a crazy value. I'm going to show you right now. And then his price did come down very, very quickly. This is because power-ups are very easy to pull. And you can see on September 20th, he was 76,000 coins. The next day, he was 40,000 less. Then he was 3,000 less. He was 9,000 less. And you can see that it just goes straight down, right? So that's something we can take away from this is that the price of these cards will come down very, very quickly. Mainly because of the fact they are power-up cards and they can be easily pulled. But that is something to take into consideration, not about the power-ups, not the actual power-ups, physical 68 of alls, but the power-ups that go into the set. Now, we're going to take a look at Patrick Mahomes, because his card did go a little bit up in value, I believe. Uh, yes, it did. So, it was around 15,000 coins, and then it went up to 25, 29, 30, 31, and of course, we uh, 39, 40, 39, 38. So, it did go up in value when he did get a new power-up card. So, again, a lot of guessing. I said this earlier in the year, but guessing power-ups is so freaking difficult to do. It's so difficult to know what cards are going to get power-up cards, especially with how they're doing it now. You can see this card went up to 31,000 coins on September 18th. But again, it's so hard to uh, you know really predict what cards are going to get brand new cards because nobody ever knows. Like you know, EA obviously we can try to look at real football, and I try my best to you know tell you guys if I think someone's going to get power-up. But we watched real football, and you know, it was like, oh, this guy's going great. But if that card doesn't have a new power-up in the game, or it doesn't have a power-up card in the game. It's really difficult to know if he's going to get another card and another power up set. So that's this, you know, new thing they're doing with the whole some cards that maybe don't have power up sets or gang power up sets. It's almost impossible to truly guess who's going to get it. So I, in my opinion, I would leave that alone. As I said before, power ups, I would leave them alone.
I know some people are like, well, we can invest in the power up to make millions of coins. You correct, and you could also invest a million coins in the power up, and his card doesn't go up at all because of the fact that when he gets a new card, no one wants to power him up, right? So you gotta be very, very careful with that. I'm trying my best when when it comes to investments. I lost last year. I told you guys many times. I lost. 20 or oh, 15 million coins investing right and that's because I was doing a risky investment now of course that's the whole premise is you never go all in I went all in I made the mistake I paid the price right but the point of the matter is don't invest in the power-ups I learned that lesson last year with some certain, when I invested in certain power-ups and I guess this year we're gonna be the same premise right you never know what's gonna happen so you have to be very very mindful and if you do invest I know some people are don't like freak out. I'm not saying that you're gonna lose all your coins if you invested. Don't invest more. Play smart, right? So that's all. All I'm trying to say. So the market gainers. We have uh, Matt Breida. We have Jonathan uh, Allen. We have Michael High. We have um, Mike Hilton. And we see this a lot of times. Well, for example, uh, Michael Hyde. He got a new card. He had a new power up card. Um, well, a new Team of the Week Master card. And his card will go up in value. You can see right here his card skyrocketed because he had a new card. Now that's another thing I want to talk about is going to be in the power up set. Sometimes it's not always a 68 overall card that skyrockets. Sometimes it's a piece in the set. And that's why again why power ups are so unpredictable. Because it could be anything in the set that could skyrocket. Tyree Kill for example when he got his brand new Team of the Week card. He actually his uh, base elite went from like 20k to 70k. Now of course his power up went up too but... That's another story. Uh, nonetheless, though, again, you can see all the players that went up in value. Now the players that have lost value, you can see uh, we have core leads, team of the week. So, again, a lot of older cards are going to lose value. And we're going to see this over and over again. We're going to see players like LT, his legend card. Even though this legend card right here is actually not that bad for a budget team. I'm going to see a lot of these cards low down in value. I mean, this card is actually really good for budget squad. You put him as a right end or left end, he's going to get some work done. Nonetheless, though, we're going to see that a lot happen a lot more very soon because as newer cards come out and bigger promos come out, stuff drops in value. Just common sense, right? So, um, as you can see, the most expensive player is still Ed Reed. We have Ronnie Lott. We have Steve Atwaters. We have Steve Smith, Morton Anderson, and Jalen Ramsey. Now, of course, cheapest training at the moment looks like it's going to be around 72 coins for a uh, training point that's gonna be cheapest you're gonna be able to get at the moment again if you get any of these cards for less value than you're seeing on the screen that means that you actually got a great deal for them and you're actually getting more training for your coins which you're winning at that point we got some uh, daily snipes over here to the right we got Tim Brown for 100 coins Harrison Smith for 100 coins Joe Batonio for 100 coins a lot of 100 coin snipes now let's go ahead and go to PS4 where no 100 coin snipes will be present Oh, wow. Well, oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It looks like there's a, a lot of Kevin Greens that people did not like. Okay. Someone hates Kevin Green. <laughs> All right, guys. So, on PS4, it's the same thing as Xbox One. I talk about this every single week. It's the same exact thing, except everything's a little bit more expensive. That's just how PS4 goes. Less players play PS4 than they do Xbox One. So, it's the same premise, except it's going to be a little bit less exp or more expensive on PS4 than Xbox One. And PC, yeah, PC is just dead. PC is a ripperoni, man. 11 coins per training point. Yeah, PC, I don't... We don't talk about PC, okay? We don't talk about PC because PC, two people play it, and those two people, we don't have no idea who the names are or who they are. But they are the two people that play it, and they populate that game. Nonetheless, though, market losers for PS4 is going to go ahead and be Anthony Harris, Casey Haywood, um, to Quan Smith, EJ Manuel, Ricard Allen, Flexor Cox, and actually real fast, as you can see, power up, power up, um, two power ups on the biggest market losers. Obviously, as I was saying, all these power ups that go skyrocket up, everything that goes up must come down, right? So that's just how that works, and that's what that is happening right there. Their power ups are going straight down after they went straight up because of the fact that it's been a couple weeks. Everything moves so quick in Ultimate Team. That's why I love it. I use this analogy all the time when it comes to cards and mutt. Cards and mutt are like cars, okay? They're like cars in real life. The second you, that car, when you buy that car, you have so much value in that car, right? That's brand new, a brand new, uh, I'm just going to say my favorite car, Mustang. You buy a brand new Mustang, right? You Beautiful, right? But the second you drive that Mustang off the lot, it loses value. The second you start putting miles on that Mustang, the value goes down, right? 
And that's the same thing with Ultimate Team. The second you buy that brand new 95 overall card, well, now you have to pay one thing. If you want to sell them again, you have to pay tax. So you lose 10% of what you paid for. Second thing, unless you overvalue a card, have a video covering that if you want to see that and learn about that. Nonetheless, so, and then second thing, as you use them, let's say you use them for a month, right? Because you're not going to buy a brand new shiny car to use it for like a week. You're going to use it for a month at least, right? You buy it for a month, and now at the end of the month, that car or that car is half price, right? So that's the thing about Ultimate Team. Everything moves so quickly with new cards coming out and new things happening. Everything just goes so quickly. And in reality wise, Ultimate Team truly only lasts August, September, October, November, December. Okay. It only lasts technically five months with the football season. After that, it kind of slows down. It's not as prominent as it was. And that's why. That's why everything goes so fast because everything's coming out so fast. Crazy time in Ultimate Team. Can't wait for to see the next promo that does release. I'm guessing the next promo is going to be the Halloween promo. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.